What is happening people? Welcome back for another video. Fishing the Snake River today. Uh, I haven't fished the Snake River in a while. Me and Ambrose are gonna see if we can get a bite. Here's the good working fisherman trying to get everything loaded up while I'm wasting time doing the intro. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad. Thank you. Trying to get this video going, so it's gonna work out. We're gonna work our way up the Snake River, see if we can get all the way up to the dam. I don't know what dam it is. What dam is that, Ambrose? I don't know what dam it is. It's a dam. See if we could fish around some islands that are uh, along the edges of the river. We might try going a little deeper today. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna test our luck with the shallow water, see if the bass are coming up, trying to find some food or something. We have some time today, so we're really gonna experiment with areas we've never fished before and see if we can find something that we like. See if we can recognize a pattern and see what these bass are eating, but uh, we'll see. I don't really like to go in with high expectations because then I don't catch anything, so I'm not gonna jinx it. Just going for a fish. As long as we can get one fish on the boat, then we have a video. If we can get one fish on the boat, then we have a video. So yeah, gonna wrap this up, help them load up the rest of the boat, put the boat in the water, and I will see you on the river. Alrighty, we're out here. We're up by the dam, so the current's ripping pretty good. We're just gonna float back. The further back we float, um, the current kind of chills out a little bit. We're gonna get us along the edge um, and keep floating down. It's exciting to fish a new area. I've never fished up here. I've never really came this far up here. I, we came up here once for walleye. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, we're going with this bait caster again. I had. I got some advice from YouTube, looked into it a little bit more, so I'm hoping that it doesn't do what it did last time. <laughs> hoping for it to not get all tangled and bunched up, so. Should be fun. What's the water temp? It's a warm day, it's like 78 degrees, so. But the water, I don't think it was very, it's only 56 degree, no, yeah, 56 degree water temp. <laughs> So although it's a pretty warm day, the water up here is pretty cold. Like I said, the water's ripping. They have the whole dam opened up pretty much. There's rocks, this is rocky bottoms, bro. Do I love the way that looks. I get hit or I'm gonna rub it on the bottom here. Come on. It's a fish. It's a big one. It's fighting pretty good. Maybe it's not a big one. I don't know. I don't know what it is, Ambrose. Or am I stuck? Bro, I'm stuck. No. Oh, Wait, a, no, it's a big one. It's a, it's a catfish. Oh, it's, it's a carp. Heavy. Ah! It's heavy. Well, I said we needed to get a fish on the boat, but it wasn't what I was looking for. Dude, he was heavy. Is Welcome back guy? to ES3 Fishing, where we're fishing for carp. Stop. Stop it. You got it? This is my first carp. This is my first every single carp. It's like a sucker fish. Back in the water. Let me take a picture of you with it. You let me take a picture of you with it. <laughs> we, <laughs> put him back. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one carp down. No more to go. I don't want to do that again. I don't like carp. I really don't. I, I mentioned that I work with a lady that they used to go bow fishing for carp. So maybe she'll be proud of me. But I don't want to do that no more. Heavy. Yeah, they were heavy. That thing stunk. Hey, Diesel, stop licking the carp juice. Napper. It was hitting hard. I'm like, ah, here we go. Nice little bass. And nope. 
They always get hide. You don't want another carp? No. No, I don't either. If we're catching anything else today, just give me a walleye. That would be amazing. That could have been a, it would, that was not wrong. Because it'd be bending out. I think you gotta go slow here. Or carp. Okay, whatever. I, I mean, it's a fish, so. Bass or something around his tail. Come on. If it's a, if it's a carp, no, dude, this has got to be not a. This can't be a carp, dude. It's a carp. It's a That's a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. He's got a follower. Amber, come on. Oh, let's go! Let's go! It popped right out of his mouth, right into the net, dude. Let's go! Hey, right here, man. Did you say he had a follower? Dude, he had a follower, bro. Oh my gosh. Ah, arrows, you popped right off. I didn't set the hook right or nothing. Popped right off. And I, I did not set that hook right at all. Nice little brown smallmouth. Yeah, I didn't set the hook properly at all. Popped right off when I was bringing them up and Ambrose got them. I did not want to lose them. After, especially after catching that carp. I did not want to lose a bass, so. All right, buddy. Oh man, they are aggressive up here. <laughs> Keep going. Alrighty, so they're here. We're gonna keep trying this area. I don't know. Those rocks in the water. We gotta be careful. Go nice and slow, dude. For the, I know it's I know it was a carp and one small mouth, but caught them both going super slow. You good? The log right there, be careful. Yeah, I don't know what fish do anymore, bro. So this spot has been pretty bad the past hour and a half. We've, all we've had is that one bass and that one stupid carp. So it's been slow. It's been a while since a bite, a bunch of rocks, we've gotten stuck. Like how many times you got stuck? Like 10 times? Me, I got stuck like once, ah, like twice or two or three times. So yeah, spot's been bad. We're gonna go down the Snake River. There's a spot I'm curious about. We're gonna go see if it's any good and we'll see you guys there. See that? Dude, that's a big fish, bro. What? No. I don't know. Got him. <laughs> he's little. No, he just makes big wakes. What's up with that, buddy? He's tricking everybody. Are you oh, sure I, him? Yeah, I want him. Maybe there's another one. 
Easy, easy, easy. So I got this one. Made a pretty big wake for such a little guy, but I mean, it's a fish, so. Two baths, one carp. Been on her forever, though. What are you staring at, Diesel? Look at him. I don't know if the cobra can pick him up pretty good, but he's just staring at me. Nice one. Hey. <laughs> also a little one. Is it little? Yeah. At least it's a fish. <laughs> there, dude. They fight hard, man. Your whole pole is bent over. Not worth nothing. <laughs> Better than nothing. Wow. Dude, he had your whole pole bent over. I knew I had something. They're so tiny right here. <gasps> Dude, I almost hit that bird. He had a duck. <laughs> Yeah, that was bad. Got one. Yeah, yeah I don't know. If it's, yeah, it's pretty little. It's little, Amber. Gosh, these guys are ridiculous. He, he is so tiny, dude. He's so, his gears are so healthy. They're so little. Let's see, but me too. We're in ten feet now, so that's good. You're on. Yeah. You're on? Yeah. Big? Looks big. Bring it up. This way, this way, this way. Looks big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine over there, like it looked big. <laughs> Dude, it was putting up a fight. I saw big splashes. It was like the 21 shoes. Like Bring it over here, the pole. I don't want the pole to break. That's funny. That was That's hilarious. Probably. probably. Nice mama. Spike. It's all right. Do you want a picture? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I get rid of him. <laughs> Look at that little one. This Dude, they are so little out here. I like this rod. Yeah, that rod made it look like it was a six pounder. <laughs> I like it though. It's like a nice little setup. Is this my first fish on this video? Oh, on that setup? I caught him on that setup before. On this setup? Yeah. I already did today. Oh, you did? Yeah, over there, the little one. Another little one. Look at it, they're so little. This is, how many are we at? I don't know. Ten? They're so little, dude. They're so. S Ever since that big one we caught, they've been all as big as my pinky toe. Very, very, very little fish. Little squeakers. Let's see about. We're just hoping Big Brother's somewhere around, but. 
They are small. They're eating that? Yeah, dude. This thing's as big as it. I, I'd expect that they'd be eating this because it's a tiny. Not the big bag, though. They love this one, the big one. Yeah. All right, so fishing's been pretty lame the past like, what, like two, three hours? They're small. We haven't caught anything over like a half a pound. They've been little, very little fish. Nothing to even take a picture of. So it's been pretty lame. I mean, it's nice to get out here and catch fish. We, I mean, we, we've been catching fish. I can't complain too much. So we're gonna wrap up the boat, pack it up. It's getting dark. So see you guys at the launch. Alrighty, so we're off the water, got the boat back on the trailer. We forgot the rope at home because we had put the rope on my dad's boat. So long story short, we didn't have a rope to pull the boat up, so we had to, I had to walk out there in my waders. I love these things. But I don't really power load the boat because I have something wrong with my trailer where it doesn't go on there in line. Come here, Diesel. I'm trying to make sure my dog doesn't get ran over. It's not like wrong with it, it just, there's a, little part I don't know what it's called it's underneath the boat it needs to be replaced I haven't done it yet so but anyways off the water had a fun day I and mean, they weren't huge bass but we caught fish that was the goal and the goal was to try a new area catch some fish and have some fun so we did that I mean like I told Ambrose our goal is to catch one fish we only need one to make a video if you guys ever have the opportunity to venture out and try new areas if you're able to do that I definitely recommend doing it because you never know if you're gonna find something that you really like something you enjoy a spot that you know you could catch you know a pretty big fish so it's always good to do that. It's always good to step out of your comfort zone, especially with fishing. Wrapping it up. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Comment on it if you want. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.